Okay guys, this is the engine bay of my 91 M5. It's very dirty. I just yanked the radiator out. Here's the uh, oil cooler. Okay, so notice this tab right here on the left. And then it's got a similar tab over here on the right. And we are gonna move over to the radiator. Okay, now the lighting is bad, but it shouldn't really matter for this purposes of this video. So um, we have this tab right here. This would be the bottom right of the radiator with the slot. That would be the uh, right side of the car, the passenger side of the US car. And we have another slot that's the same over here on the left side, okay? So all it is is, um, you know, that the tabs on the oil cooler slip in there. So we're gonna go ahead and say that, we're gonna go ahead and say that this wrench is the oil cooler and what uh, I had to do was I had to lift up the radiator about four inches and then tap the oil cooler to the right a bit until it slipped out and then the radiator would come up. Um, I didn't like it at all. I had my head underneath the front of the car with the car jacked up and what it was doing was taking a rubber mallet and trying to tap as gently as I could. Um, this connector for the oil return because it's really the only thing that I could I could uh, gently hit um, with clearance issues down there. So I uh, was under there, lifted the radiator and oil cooler together, started tapping this with a rubber mallet from this side. Um, got a whole lot of dirt and debris in my face, so be careful with that. Um, but once I was able to gently tap it over enough, it slipped out of the tabs on the bottom of the radiator and then I could lift the radiator uh, up and out. So I hope this helps anybody else who's trying to remove the radi radiator from their, uh, from their M5. Uh, good luck.